viewers, welcome to AgriWars. Today, 26 February, let us move on to today's news highlights. Delhi government to increase MSP for we paddy crops. Bangalore school provides practical training on cultivation of perennial crops and tubers. East West Seed stays on top of access to seed index. Delhi government to increase minimum support price for we paddy crops. The Delhi government has finalized a mechanism to raise the minimum support price for wheat and paddy crops, which is based on the recommendation of the Swaminathan Committee report. Implementation of the scheme under the Mukhya Mandri Kisan Mitra Yojana. The implementation of the Swaminathan Committee report recommendation, it is proposed that the minimum support price should be at least 50% more than the weighted average cost of the production for the benefit of the farmers. The minimum support price for Delhi for wheat and paddy crops has been decided based on the relevant factors after considering the higher production cost in Delhi as compared to other states. Mangalore School provides practical training on cultivation of perennial crops and tubers. A school located in the village in Karnataka's Mangalore district has introduced Agriculture Science as a compulsory subject for the class 5 to 10 in the current academic session. Students of Sahradeya Vidyani Ketana Public School were asked to grow vegetables on 3.5 acres on the campus. Inspired by the response of the students, the school is now planning to expand the agriculture activity on another 5 acres and this time their focus will be on perennial crops and tubers. The school will provide practical training on cultivation of perennial crops and tubers together with vegetables from the next academic year. This will help the children learn and understand cultivation of crops in an organized way. The parents of the students are also happy with the addition of agriculture science in the syllabus. Moreover, students have also given serious thought for new subject, turning assessment of students as an ongoing process in this subject. Students have planted amaranthus that came under fungal attack and tomato plants on the field had also experienced insect attacks. Hence students were given an assignment to study the reason behind these problems. Projects like this help them learn about the plant disease in a better way. The school is making best use of organic wastes for preparation of compost and vermicompost to be used as manure. Regarding crop selling and marketing, 100 families of the staff members stay inside the school campus. They purchase these fresh produce. Children are taught right from seed conservation to crop cultivation and protect, protection till marketing. The next news is East West Seed stays on top to access to seed index for the fourth time. East West Seed, a tropical vegetable seed company with Asian as well as Dutch roots, continues to remain top in the recently launched Access to Seed Index. Access to Seeds, an autonomous organization which is supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Dutch government, announced the Global Seed Index results from its Amsterdam headquarters. The index had put East West Seed in the top position, beating 13 other global seed firms on their commitment and performance in offering smallholder farmers all over the world access to seed quality. And crop of the day, chickpea. The scientific name is Sizer Arientina and the chromosome number is 20 equal to 16 and 14. It's a rabbit crop and its origin is from Afghanistan. There are two types of chickpea. One is Desi and the scientific name is Isaac Arientinum. And the other one is Kabuli. It is white gram that is Sizer Kabulium. Its chromosome number is 2 and equal to 16. And Desi's chromosome number is 16 as well as 14. The test weight for Desi gram is 140 to 200 gram and whereas the test weight for Kabuli type is 340 to 375 gram.
Next one is it is a C3 long day plant and its fruit is called pore. It contains 21% protein and the varieties are Avarodhi, it's Avarodhi and it is a wilt resistant and Aparna, its grain remaining green color and some other varieties are Pusa 256, C235, Gaurav, RS10, RS11, ICCC2, Type 2, Pusa 209 and some more varieties are there. That's all about chickpea. That's all today's news and hair. Crop of the day. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned. Please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you will get notified for every.